the, the main thing is it to me is sharing your art and if somebody finds a rock like I have I this is one that's that I really love it's got a little tree on it and and somebody spent a lot of time painting that and and, and I love it and and I didn't want to share it with somebody so it's mine but if you can take it home and love it for a while and then go rehide it and let somebody else find it that's that's your that's up to you how you want to be do your rock after having spent some time coming across painted rocks in different parts of the state, Mike Mayfield has chosen to try to bring back the painted rock group to Cordell. So what is Cordell Rocks 2.0? It is a Facebook page dedicated to the activity of painting rocks, hiding them in places for people to come upon, and sharing the found rocks to their dedicated Facebook page if that info is available. Kids get into it, and they like painting the rocks and hiding them around town, and other people find them, but I've seen some really professional painters paint some rocks, and they get really nice. Mayfield has spent some of his time in the past three years looking for painted rocks around the Veterans Affairs Hospital in Oklahoma City, and he hopes to have the Cordell group grow in town so that he can take and give back to the VA hospital and have people find rocks that Cordell residents have made. As for what people can get out of participating in the activity, Mayfield said he hopes it will bring the community together. I've already delivered rocks to some people to, to get painted, so people are interested in it. and. And if it gets to be a big deal, you'll be able to find these rocks all over town, and it'd be really neat. You can take them with you to Clinton to the doctor and hide it at the doctor there. It's not just a Cordell deal. To get things started in Cordell, Mayfield said he already has some ideas for future rocks he plans to hide in town. I, I know one business in town that just redid their uh, their flower bed out in front of their business, and, and I think that'd be a neat place to paint a rock, maybe, maybe with something about their business on it to show them. That I, I appreciate that appreciate that they took the time to fix that flower bed up and it looks nice. Maybe paint a rock with their business name on it. While they're out there taking care of it, they'll find it. I'm like, wow. And then on the back, I'm going to put Cordell Rocks 2.0 so she knows where it come from. If you or someone you know would like to participate in the activity, Mayfield invites people to join the Cordell Rocks 2.0 Facebook page. Mayfield cleans and sprays rocks with primer to provide them to those who ask and you can contact him through the Facebook page. I, I can meet you or they can come by here and pick them up. Whatever, whatever they feel good. If they don't want to meet me face to face, I, I'll leave them at, on the picnic bench at the park. It's, it's just a bag of rocks. Somebody steals them, we'll do it again. <laughs> to hear more about Cordell Rocks 2.0 and Mayfield's time with rock painting, head on over to thecordellbeacon.com or pick up a copy of this week's newspaper.